Alright, good morning. This is Shane with Galati Yacht Sales. Today we're taking a look at a brand new trade-in we just took in. It's a 2007 Sea Ray 290 Sundancer. We're going to uh, step on take a look, but she is nicely equipped with the twin 5.0 Merc Cruisers, which are 260 horsepower, with the Bravo 3 Outdrives. Has a full cockpit cover, camper canvas, brand new C90 wide, and only has 116 hours and about 35 hours on the 5kW generator. Let's go take a look. As you can see on the back here, you do have the dual prop, which will allow you to plane faster, gives you better maneuverability around the docks, which really increases your comfort level when you're coming into the docks. And even in a windy and high current situation, you'll have ultimate control over the boat. As you notice, we've got a great storage locker here in the aft where your 30 amp shore power does come out. Plenty of storage in there for all your lines, fenders, throw preserver, or anything that you need to store in there while you're cruising around. As you step up here, you notice we do have a flagpole insert so you can uh, display your flag proudly. And over here on the starboard side, you do have a rod holder, which actually would double as a place where you could store your grill when you're cooking out. As you step in, you notice that you do have the blue piping. This is new cockpit carpet. You have the teak table, and you've got a flip down two cup holder right there, port side seating, and a nice walk through windshield. Recently installed, there was a C90 wide, which is a nice Raymarine, top of the line electronics here. Only 116 hours on the boat. We do have twin stern drives. Here's your controls, those are Merc Cruisers and you have a VHF mic, controller for your stereo, and if you ever wanted to expand to add another chart plotter or uh, other electronics, there is room for that. As you notice at the helm station here, you do have a really nice setup. You have a thigh rise bolster with flip up, and you fold it down. You've got a great entertainment suite on the starboard side of the cockpit. You do have a freshwater spigot with a sink, plenty of cup holders, and you do have a Norcol refrigerator. That was a option. A lot of these boats were sold with just a uh, slide-in cooler there. Just underneath the sink, you do have a nice convenient out-of-the-way storage for your trash can. And you do have dedicated uh, overboard discharge there as well on your drain. One thing you notice, this does have a great setup. This step folds up out of the way so it's not a shin knocker but when you need it you just fold it down step right up and you have a walk through windshield you can easily walk out do your windless controls from the bow or you can do them right from the helm let's go down and take a look below as we come down into the cabin the first thing you notice we do have a great Ford V-berth even for this size boat there's ample room for two adults to stretch out relax and get comfortable you do have some nice natural lighting that comes into the boat via the two uh, skylights and then also the opening hatch Ford as we move forward you notice on the floor here they have done a nice Berber upgrade insert so that's a removable if you do have some traffic in here you can pull that out pressure wash it and keep it all clean. Looking aft, you do have a nice berth in the back where two kids or two adults could comfortably sleep. Obviously not as comfortable as Ford. I'm going to set y'all down here for a second and show you how this Ford berth sets up into a setting area. Just pull on this tab. And she locks right in place. And now you got a great entertaining L-shape area that you can have a nice conversation for at least four adults. Plenty of storage. Your main distribution panel is right here as you walk into the boat. CD player, six disc changer, and your keys are nicely held inside the cabin instead of having dangling around on the dash. It has toggle switches for starting and stopping the engines. Remote generator start and bilge blower controls here as well. One thing great about this boat is it does have a pretty nice size galley. 
down below here, you do have a nice refrigerator. That's a Norcold fridge. One thing Great Sea Ray does is you do have plenty of counter space as you come onto the boat. You've got one level area that you can put down all of your provisions. Then you have a one burner stove with an automatic shut off on the recessed burner. A stainless steel bowl for your sink in the galley. You do have a 12 volt plug in there and your controller for your AC. And then your on off for your light is right here. Microwave is right up top. They did upgrade and put a larger Emerson HD TV. I believe that is a 22 inch screen. The standard screen on this was about 15 inches. So they have maximized the opportunity there and giving you some more viewing pleasure. Plenty of storage in the gunwales up above, your sleeping berth, and two reading lights forward. This would be considered your hanging locker. Probably not going to put a dress in there, but throw a couple of uh, shirts and blouses in there and enjoy your weekend. As I'm opening up the uh, bilge access here, it is electronically assisted and it gives you great access if you do have to jump down and take a look in the bilge, check on any of your uh, sea strainer for your air conditioner or for your generator. You do have storage here right below the cockpit sole for your table if you don't want to have the table set up. As we look into the bilge, we take a look at the power plant. We've got twin 5.0 Bravo 3, 260 horsepower Merc Cruisers. Boat is in very, very, very clean shape. Was recently serviced on 511 by Coastal Wave Marine. You can take a look through the bilge. Over on the starboard side, you have your macerator pump, holding tank, seacox for your overboard discharge, and your intake for your AC. Right here, you have your generator, automatic startup in the cabin battery bank to the port side and there you have your hot water heater with SureFlow water pump just right above it. Now stop by take a look at it. We're at Galati Yacht Sales on Gandy Boulevard. This is Shane at 727-647-5557 or drop me an email at sfaunce at galatiyachts.com.